supplies we'll be needing are a, some tissue paper, card stock of whatever colors you choose, a box cutter or exacto knife, craft knife, whatever you prefer to call it, and your size of um, poster board. So I have two different sizes here for um, example, but I chose the smaller one. I'm just using this um, packaging box as a guide to cut out um, the center of my photo board. And so I just follow the lines on that and just trim away. That makes it so much easier. If you guys have a ruler, go ahead and use that. I just didn't have one on hand, so I did use the box. I'm just gonna pop out the center of the photo board. Now we're gonna start on the embellishment. So we're gonna make paper flowers. If you don't know how to make paper flowers, I'm gonna show you how to do them just really quick. Um, just one example and then the other ones will be off camera so you're just gonna take about five to six sheets well you're gonna take um, three to four sheets and then you're gonna fold it in half because you want to have about five to six sheets of tissue paper for each paper flower um, so yeah I'm just gonna be folding to the size um, that I want it so just follow what I'm doing it's really self-explanatory and then you're gonna accordion style fold um, the tissue paper and once we have that you're gonna bend it so you can find the center and then you're gonna secure that with a staple uh, you can use string if you like I just find staples work better in my opinion and then we're gonna start fluffing out the petals um, but first we're gonna cut a little round edge it makes it look a lot nicer and makes it look like an actual flower opposed to just square ends. So here I am just fluffing up the petals. Again, really self-explanatory, but just continue to do that. Until it looks something like this. And then you're also gonna do that with whatever other color. So I chose a light pink and a light purple. And that's just what they look like finished. Now I'm going to start on a template for my ears. So as you can see, I'm just using a plain piece of computer paper and making a template. And then I'm going to cut uh, the cardstock out with that. So I'm going to use that as my template and cut two ears with that. And then there we go. Now we're going to make the center of the ears. I'm going to take that same template and I'm just going to trim the size down about an inch and a half and it's going to be the center of my ear so I'm using pink for the center and again the same process. Now for the unicorn corn or unicorn horn I'm sorry. Um, self-explanatory again you just need a triangle and then I'm gonna add some grooves in it as you'll see me doing um, and that's about it for the horn super easy this is probably one of my favorite projects because it turned out super cute and it was so easy to make I probably spent 20 minutes max making this and um, the most time-consuming part are the tissue paper flowers so here I am just laying it out, making sure I like the size and dimensions of everything, and I do. And so I'm gonna start gluing everything together um, and placing them onto my board. Now for my unicorn horn, I didn't like the length that it was or the height so I added a skewer onto the back, um, that way I could keep the height of the horn, um, and I'm going to be using the stick for extra height, so you'll see me stick that right in the center. Um, but here I am just concealing the little stick, that way it's not so noticeable and it looks a little bit more polished and put together if you saw it from the back side. And just gluing the ears on. Again guys, this is super easy. I love the way this turned out. So here I am just sticking that into the foam board and I did actually end up securing that with a, just a tad of hot glue and it worked out perfectly. And then again, add your flowers to the foam board, sorry. So 
is what the finished product will look like. To make it a little bit more personable for the birthday girl, I did go ahead and add her name. And you'll see that here in just a second. But I did want to say, if you guys haven't already checked out my Unicorn Pinata DIY, definitely go check that out. I love the way they complement each other. And they look so cute together. Um, but if you liked this um, tutorial, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe for more Unicorn tutorials. I'll have a birthday vlog for you later. Bye, guys.